namaste to every one of you. Uh, Dr. Manohar instructed me to speak for about 15 minutes, but I cannot speak so fast, like Mr. Vidyashankar, and <laughs> please bear with me. Uh, let me first congratulate all the graduated students who have successfully completed MBA and uh, will start a new life soon as a fresh businessman and businesswoman. Although I uh, unfortunately heard this morning that none of you is going to work at a Japanese company, <laughs> uh, I'm confident that uh, all of you have a bright future. Uh, let me also convey my congratulations to parents, guardians, and all the staff of ISBL for this day of celebration. I believe that the student's achievement was not possible without your support, encouragement, and guidance. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. Vidya Shankal uh, talked about the technology and the statistics. And uh, I would like to take this opportunity to explain a bit about the cultural relations between India and Japan. Our two countries have indeed much longer cultural and historic relations. We can actually go back to the sixth century when the Buddhism was introduced from India to Japan. In the year 752, the most significant Buddhist ceremony was held to celebrate the inauguration of the newly built Buddhist temple called Todaiji. Uh, it's uh, in English, East Great Temple, located at uh, the ancient capital Nara. And uh, it had uh, the newly built Buddha statue, which, was, uh, which is still uh, 50 meter high. The then Emperor Shomu, who ordered to build them, and the tens of thousands of monks and the people gathered at the temple. There was one Indian Buddhist and monk and the bishop with the highest reputation from India. He had been invited to Japan by the Emperor Shomu in the year 736. His name was Bodhisena. Uh, with the eyes of tens of thousands of people focusing on him, uh, he stood on, hand, on the high stage and drew with a big brush the huge black eyes of the Buddha. Thus, he played the most important and symbolic part of the ceremony, Buddha's attainment of the enlightenment. The Shinto is our indigenous religion but I can say that most people, most Japanese people, accept the Shinto and the Buddhism as part of daily life. In the Japanese Buddhist temples, many gods are enshrined, and uh, these gods are actually Hindu. Uh, of course, uh, people call them uh, different in Japanese, but uh, our people have been indeed worshipping many Hindu gods, such as Sarasvati, for hundreds of years. Thank you. Uh, the Indian traditional textile uh, printed cotton, famous one, had a great influence on Japanese textile industry. Similarly, the Japanese phonetic letters called hiragana was created based on Sanskrit letters. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, coming back to the modern period, last year we celebrated the 60th anniversary of the official diplomatic relations, which was established after the World War II. Many events were held in throughout India. One of the events was the called Ekiden in Japanese, which is a, a long distant running relay. 
this ekidem was held in this electronic city at the uh, Infos Infosys campus with, with the cooperation of Infosys. Uh, more than 60 Indian and Japanese uh, teams with five runners each joined this event. They ran for the kilometer, 12.5 kilometers. And the program includes the Indian dance and music after the race. And it was a very successful event. Uh, this year, His Excellency uh, Prime Minister Dr. Mamohan Singh visited Japan in May, and it was his uh, fifth visit to Japan. And he held a summit meeting with our Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Their joint statement highlighted some programs in many areas to be pursued by our two countries. I would like to enumerate some of them as follows. Mumbai Metro Line 3 project, Western dedicated freight corridor, Berry Mumbai industrial corridor, high speed railway systems on the Mumbai Ahmedabad route, and Chennai Bangalore industrial corridor. As for the high speed railway system, our system called Shinkansen is world famous for its cutting edge technology, punctuality, and safety. You never know, the Shinkansen technology might be introduced in this area. I would like to mention in particular that Their Majesty the Emperor and the Empress of Japan will pay a state visit to India at the end of coming November. These high-level visits surely make our two countries' ties stronger. Thanks to the assistance of the government of Karnataka, we currently have a community of 969 Japanese nationals and 228 Japanese companies in Karnataka. Uh, Toyota Kiroroska Mota Hires 6,500 6, employees. Honda Motorcycle, School, Motorcycle and Scooter India recently opened its third factory in India at Narasapla Kolar. It will hire eventually 5,000 employees. We also have IT companies such as Sony, Soft, in Sony India Software Center with 1,500 employees. In this electronic city, uh, we have a few Japanese companies such as Yokogawa India and uh, Fanak India. These are your neighbors. Uh, I would also like to inform you that the Japanese government through uh, Japan International Cooperation Agency has been giving financial assistance to huge infrastructure projects to this region. For example, 3,800 crores rupees to the Bangalore Metro project and uh, 6,000 crores to the Kobele Water project. The Chennai Bangalore Industrial Corridor project will be one of major projects to be promoted further between our two governments. Ladies and gentlemen, Bangalore is a world famous and a very important IT hub of, in India. I'm sure that the role of this city, including that of ISBR, will further increase in many years to come. Both India and Japan are now leading economies and democracy in Asia with ancient cultural historic common background. As our two prime ministers agreed in May, both countries as strategic partners should strengthen their ties and cooperation further so that our two nations will make greater contributions to the peace, stability, and uh, prosperity of both Asia and the world. To all newly graduated students, I hope you'll be among those 
who will make such contributions. Congratulations again for your graduation, and I wish you all the best. Thank you very much.